The Elder Scrolls Online is a great MMO that gets even better when you play with add-ons. In today's video, I'm going to share the top 10 add-ons that I think every player should consider adding to their collection. Whether you're brand new to the game or a long-time veteran, be sure to check these out. Welcome back, heroes of Tamriel. I'm Cal, and today I've got a literal game changer for all you new players diving into The Elder Scrolls Online in 2024. We're talking about taking your interface and HUD to the next level. Some might say add-ons are optional, but I wouldn't play without them. But today I'll show you how to give your interface that makeover, crank up the customization, and maybe even help you earn a little bit more gold along the way. Let's get started. First off, if you're thinking that add-on management might be time consuming, let me put those fears to rest straight out of the gate. With the Minion Add-on Manager, it's super easy to find what you're looking for and keep those add-ons up to date. So let's start there. Head over to minion.mmoui.com and download their add-on manager. Once it's installed, open up the program and click the plus icon. This will allow you to select ESO and find the add-on folder. For me, that folder is located under Documents, then Elder Scrolls Online, and then Live. At this point, you should be ready to use the Find More tab to search for more add-ons. You can filter by category or version, although I typically stick to category or just use the search field to find specific add-ons I'm looking for. That's probably going to be the easiest way to find the ones I cover in this video. Once you've found an add-on that you'd like to add, click the install button to download the files and make it available in ESO. It's always a good idea to click on the name of the add-on itself to see if there are any dependencies. Add-ons in ESO often rely on dependencies, so you'll find that many do have an additional add-on that you'll need to install. Just close the pop-up window and search for that dependency to add it to your collection. After you've installed all the add-ons you'd like to use, you won't need to open Minion unless you'd like to check for updates or manage those add-ons. I'll typically open it at least once a week as many ESO creators are actively working on improvements, new features, and bug fixes for their add-ons. Now that you know how to download and manage your add-ons, let's dive into my first recommendation. Apologies in advance if I mispronounce any of these add-on names or creator names. Azura Interface Enhanced by Kith. I'm starting this list off with Azura because I think it truly is my number one. Not only does this include additional options for your interface, but critically, it makes it possible to move and resize vanilla interface elements. Don't want your compass at the top of the screen? Don't want a compass at all? Don't like the placement of the quest journal? You can use slash Azura unlock in game to open up the interface editor and move things around. Or go into the add on settings menu under the settings menu in game and turn things on or off. Like several of my recommendations, this should absolutely be part of the base game UI and I can barely play ESO without it. You can see some of the adjustments I've made here. I like to shriek down my compass and move it to the bottom of the screen, while I move several items out of the upper right to make room for other HUD elements that we'll talk about later in this video. LUI Extended by Art of Shred. Up second is another add-on that I consider borderline required for all players. LUI Extended allows for far greater customization of unit frames, health bars, and combat text. I use it to make my interface feel more like a more traditional MMO and less like a single player Bethesda game. I personally find it really difficult to keep tabs on my health and resources in the default interface. LUI Extended makes it far easier for me to see what's going on in combat, and I've turned off the vanilla unit frames and created some custom ones with this add-on that are reminiscent of that MMO standard. I've also dramatically adjusted my combat text so I can easily see the big hits without as much clutter on the screen. I think this just feels better, but if you want to see absolutely everything, you can do that too. Codes Combat Alerts by code. Plain and simple, this one provides additional notifications and alerts for many PvE mechanics. Are you unsure of which attacks to dodge or block? Are you struggling with complex mechanics and dungeons? Code's combat alerts will help a ton. There aren't alerts for everything in the game, but you're going to die far less often if you have this installed. Most attacks in ESO have visual telegraphs, but not all of them. Code's is there to pick up the slack and help keep you alive. Some guilds even consider this a required add-on for in-game content. There's no additional customization necessary for this one, just plug and play. Votan's Minimap by Votan. Did you know that ESO has a minimap? It does, it's just hidden by default. And this add-on turns it on. This is a true game changer for me, and another add-on I'd consider borderline required for any player out there. I'm sure the traditional Elder Scrolls fans get by just fine with that compass, but I'm an MMO guy, I need my minimap, and Votan's is excellent. There are a bevy of customization options, so you can tailor the look to fit your needs, but I like to keep it clean and minimal. New players out there might prefer to leave on the labels and maybe some of the additional information that the minimap provides until they're more familiar with Tamriel. As you can see, this add-on is a big part of why I love Azura so much, 
because I need to move those interface elements out of the way to make room for the mini-map. Map Pins by Hoft. Want to make your map even more useful? Map Pins is the way to go. By default, there are many points of interest that won't be shown on your world map or mini-map. This add-on happens to work with both. I honestly wouldn't even bother with surveys or treasure maps without this add-on. With map pins, finding treasure map dig sites, resource survey locations, collectibles, and more is an absolute breeze. This add-on is going to save you a ton of time that you would otherwise have spent tabbing out of the game to look up locations for stuff in a web browser. Stay in game with map pins. Now, I do customize this a little bit and turn off many of the collectible pins I don't like the clutter unless I'm actively hunting for them. But otherwise, you won't need to tweak much with this one. Uric's Skill Point Finder by Fritz. As a new player, you might be short on skill points, and Skill Point Finder is going to help you out with that. Just type slash USPF in your chat window to pull up an interface that shows you the source of every skill point in the game and indicates whether or not you've already earned it on your current character. When I'm short on skill points, I open up Skill Point Finder to quickly see where I should head next, get some quick skill points or sky shards. This one is great for completionists as well, since you can quickly see which zones and dungeons you might have missed along the way. Perfect Pixel by Klisk. This add-on is really more for aesthetics than anything, but I think most of you might agree. Much of the default interface is simply not making good use of screen real estate. Perfect Pixel fixes this. You'll see more of your inventory, more of your quest log, more of everything without having to scroll as much, and that's gonna save you time and energy. There's really not much more to say. Do you wanna make inventory management easier or not? Best of all, this is another plug and play add-on. No need to further customize things. Tamriel Trade Center by CYX UI. Probably one of the most important add-ons in ESO. I really don't know how the console players live without it. For anyone unfamiliar, there is no central auction house in the Elder Scrolls Online. Players list items for sale via guild traders or spread across the entire world of Tamriel. There's also no way to see what's for sale outside of visiting each trader one at a time. Or rather, there was no way to see that. TTC is an add-on that scrapes guild trader listings and posts them to tamrieltradecenter.com. When you download this add-on, it will also add a client.exe file to its folder within the add-ons folder. In order to keep your pricing up to date, you will need to launch this executable before you launch ESO to sync listings. There does appear to be a web client now too, if that's easier. But you can do your part to help keep those listings up to date by using this add-on in the client, and you'll also be able to price check items in-game with this installed. This add-on is probably the most important tool you have at your disposal when it comes to earning money in the Elder Scrolls Online. Because of the way ESO is designed, you could theoretically pull rare and valuable items from resource nodes on day one. You could open up a random nightstand in a dungeon and loot a rare recipe. You could get lucky and find a coveted motif or furnishing when looting something. Without TTC installed, you might not even realize what you have. I once had a friend mail me some ethereal dust because they figured it might be useful but they had no idea it was worth almost 200,000 gold at the time. They were level 15 and had only been playing ESO for two days. You can't always count on the rarity color of an item to tip you off. Another example, common fish are worth nearly 1,000 gold apiece on the PCNA server right now, but they have a white item label, and as a new player, you might not even realize that that is a cash crop for you. So, do yourself and the community a favor and install TTC today. Show TTC price by Mario Ness. So, TTC is great, but I need the value of the items to be a little bit more conspicuous. Show TTC price allows you to override the vendor price listed in your inventory with pricing info pulled directly from TTC. I can't tell you exactly how many times I've been in the process of deconstructing items when I realized I was about to inadvertently destroy a valuable set piece or vendor an item I thought was just trash, and show TTC price saved me. Usually you can get this info in the hover state from TTC itself but I like it at a glance in my inventory, and that's exactly what Show TTC Price offers. Auto Recharge and Repair by Zandi Demo X. Last but not least, I recommend getting Auto Recharge and Repair. Perhaps not the flashiest add-on from this list, but it's far too easy to forget to recharge your weapons and repair your armor in ESO. Besides, who wants to bother with that anyway, when we have an add-on that can just do it for you? Never wade into combat with damaged gear or uncharged weapons again. All right, everyone, those are my top 10 ESO add-on picks for new players in 2024. This is only just the beginning, though. I use dozens of additional add-ons in addition to these for the Elder Scrolls Online. But I think this is a great starting point for a new player that's not going to overwhelm them. 
This collection will enhance the default look and make your journey through Tamriel far easier without overwhelming you with information you don't really need yet or extra features that you're unlikely to interface with when you're just starting out in Tamriel. But now it's your turn to let me know what you think. Did I cover all the important add-ons? Did I miss one that you think should have been on this list? Let me know in the comments down below. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to everyone who supported my channel over the last couple of years, and especially my patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to join the Patreon crew and claim access to some bonus content and videos, hit that link on screen now. I'd also like to take this opportunity to plug my Discord. If you'd like to chat or have questions about ESO, be sure to find that link in the description of this video. And finally, I'd like to extend an invite to my ESO guild on the PCNA server. If you'd like to hang out in-game, run some dungeons, or explore the homes that I've furnished, joining my guild is the easiest way to do so. Just send your in-game application to Common Calamity and join our little crew of MMO hermits today. I hope this guide helps you make the most of your journey in the Elder Scrolls Online, and perhaps even helps you earn a little bit of extra cash along the way. Until next time, bye for now everybody.